here. Yeah, it's right here. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. Jeez, loud music. Safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. Come with me, woman. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Oh, yeah. Maybe you better start at the beginning, miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't I'll call see you many Tali. here. Why did you leave the flotilla? Flotilla I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. <laughs> it is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars. Only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. Oh my god. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Oh! Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. Yeah, we heard this already. Beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. Uh-oh. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. A long time. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No. 
No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. Yeah, man. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. <coughs> Sweet. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. So many. So she is tech. I'll take her and her. So we gotta kind of balance a little bit of stuff here. Look at that. Look at that. So much empty space. A thousand of my people could live here and hardly even see each other. Nobody cares about your people, bitch. Alright, where are we going? Turn into the tower. Can I just like TP myself there? I gotta go to a place to TP myself first. Gotta go TP my ass. TP that ass. TP that ass. Oh, I don't want to talk to this guy. Me, Could you spare a of your no. Time? Shoot him. <laughs> Dang! Always wrong button. Loading screen. Got a nice landscape to look at. Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Sweet, man. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return, return of the, the Reapers. Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. Yeah, that's probably gonna happen. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. Uh-oh. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. Uh-oh. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Mm -hmm. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, mm -hmm. but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. And that wouldn't be good. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region. Keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. 
Commander Shepard, step forward. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, why do you have to check? It's a spectators, jeez. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. Woo! You are the first human Specto Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Seren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. I'll find him. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Woo! Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Okay. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Okay. I thought the ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Ooh. Right behind you, Commander. Ooh! Expect your training charm and intim intimidate talents. Unlocked. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, so it goes a little farther. I get a store discount. Elite agents and dispatchers have access to special training. Available elsewhere in the galaxy increases health. That's pretty cool. Opens up new dialogue options. Yeah. Perfect. Now let's go to CSEC Academy and say hello to some people in the Madata B. That didn't make any sense. Um, CSEC is here, I think. Yep. I think you can see all the cars. Where are they ships? Who knows? Alright, now where is it? It's over here, I guess. So it's over at this way. One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Show me what you got! Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Ooh, rare. I'm so glad I can afford all this stuff, man. Ha! 
How come there's like never any health stuff I can buy? I'd like to buy some health, but no. I'd like to buy some health, but no, oh, oh, oh. How much health stuff? Oh, yeah, five. Okay, we're good. I uh, were two. With the central elevator in the DC Sec Academy, which is I'm guessing right here. I think. No, that's probably it. Yep, talking bay. Was about to go into the wrong one, and that wouldn't have been very cool. Are we gonna go? There we go. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Ooh. Refused to comment. Do, 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 do. Jeez. Wish these elevator rides were shorter. There we go. Now we go. What's up, guys? I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. Oh my god. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. Take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. Hey! But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Novaria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. You go fuck yourself. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. <laughs> That's all he's gonna say. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording? She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. <laughs> I'll start with the top one. The colonists on Pharos might still be alive. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. Nope, I'm not a human. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Ah, pfft. I don't have any questions. Screw you! Enter the Normandy. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Here we go! I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy.
For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, oh, but works. for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. And with that epicness, we will pause for this session, and I'll be back later. See ya.